Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine, and welcome back to Breath Edge. Now, in the last episode, we managed to make a cedar suit, which was all we needed to lower the radiation once more. It didn't make much sense, but apparently it was equivalent to lowering the radiation, just being able to handle it. I, whatever. It, we lowered the radiation in some form or another. But that leaves us now with the problem of not knowing where to go next. So... We're going to go check out those question marks and see what's going on over there. One of them was something in the ice, but I don't think I've been to the other one. And then if there's nothing there, um, I'm thinking I'll head over to whatever these blueprints are that I didn't scan. I honestly don't know what those are. I'm actually kind of curious what we need to break the ice. Like if a blaster would do, or if we need explosives to break through. Seems like we need some sort of heating element, but I don't think there's anything along those lines. At least I haven't come across any. Alright, so this was the first thing. Still don't know what this is. But then there's something else over here that I never went to. So what are you? Ooh. What are you? A space shuttle got stuck in this blob of cooling gel. I think we found the perfect specimen to launch into the core. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's really annoying when... Like, I was really close to that before. I just never reached out to it. Oh, another one of these. Oh, who is it? Marty? <laughs> Now, I'm not sure who the... A famous author of famous novels. He even got a wobbly toy of honor. Maybe I should re read some of his books. I'm not sure who this is supposed to be. If you know, let me know. Winter is coming. Uh, <laughs> if he didn't say that, I wouldn't have known. Uh, but that makes so much sense now. Okay, so we have to... We have to launch this into the core. I was hoping to see a standard pleasure shuttle, but this is an old design cargo ship. You can still occasionally find such ships on distant planets. They work on biofuel, and there's no way they were on the liner. This technology is outdated, so it's highly improbable that this debris belongs to the liner. Robotics wasn't so popular at the time when such ships were produced. The engines look intact. <laughs> External control system. Only old ships have these. I can hack it in a split second. Huh. Uh, well, what kind of repair work are we gonna need to be doing? Okay, well, can you hack? Fuel tank empty. A fuel tank with no fuel inside. To start the engines, you have to find some fuel, fill the tank, and hack the control system of the ship. Okay, well, uh, we have to fill it, we have to hack in, so... Oh. Good thing we have plenty of oxygen. So where do we fill the tank? Load beef pellets? Beef pell- What? What? Beef pellets? I- I have no idea with that. Beef pellets. I guess we'll see what we have. There was- we could make like steak. But where do we get, like, a supply of meat? Are we, do we have to find a different module in here? It's like a big, just fridge full of steaks. <laughs> okay, what do we... Oh, th I think these are just, like, cosmetic. We didn't get lamps. Might as well clear it off of our map. Okay, what else is around here? We might as well move around, maybe... We can find the the rest of the car. The car would be great. I will mark it. Oh, I thought this was the engineering shuttle. Children again. Of course, I hope they manage to escape through this jam smeared hole. Jam smeared. Oh, God. Maybe we'll find the car out here because we can push further out with the radiation suit. There's also all this electricity around, but I think we have to put on the elect 
electrical engineer suit again. Which means going all the way back. Is there anything that stands out over here? We can go closer, but... There doesn't look to be any wreckage beyond... Off in the distance. Oh, but this... This I want to get close to. I suppose if there is something like a car or something really important in these electrical areas, I'll just, I'll head back, grab the suit, and we'll use that. So far, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh! Oh, go! We were way too close! <laughs> Oh, get out of here. Oh. Okay. Note to self. Don't go where anywhere near the electricity. Oh, wow, that was bad. I I should probably get the electrical engineer suit, heal up. And then we can check a lot of these extra areas. I'm gonna go get that. If anything, I can put it in my inventory. It'll take up space, but we can swap to it if we need to. What do we do with, like, where do we get beef pellets? What does that even mean? Ooh, one thing I think I'll do uh, on the way back. I've got the encrypted tape. Maybe that'll point me to a nice blueprint. Okay, please. Please point me in a direction of somewhere important. Ah, <laughs> of course. So that's how it actually works. How oh, interesting. I never scanned that. How have I never scanned that? Well, I guess maybe I can make that so I don't have to come back here to decrypt tapes all the time. So where did I leave that electrical engineer suit? Was it in here? Did I just throw it on the ground in here? Enhanced spacesuit. There you are. So that's going to take up a lot of space, but we'll just keep it there. Um, I don't even know if we need this since we lowered the radiation. The protection's really good. So let's clear out this inventory and I'll, I'll see what I need to make the decryption module station thing interphone that's okay that was nowhere near what i should have been calling it um generator kenatron 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 what are you a kenatron glass two times two and wire that's actually not too bad we might be making an air phone which might screw up our energy balance and not generate any oxygen in there but hey I'm gonna try one Kenatron coming up I've already forgotten what other things I need a generator I don't think the generator is too hard to make Alkali and two metal. I think we need some alkali. And actually, I think we need to find some metal. That, that'll be easy. Alright. One generator. And we will be able to have an interphone. Show me an interphone. Oh, please don't screw up my base. Another whole god. Well, we can do that here now. That's cool. We're good to go. We still got oxygen. We got water. Let's go find some blueprints to work with. I want to find something useful. There's got to be some sort of wreckage that, just like that one with the security monitors where we just didn't go close enough and didn't realize. 
There has to be a few of those around. Oh, hold on. Have we... Have we explored all of that over there? Maybe we have, but it doesn't look too familiar. Maybe we went over there just a little bit and weren't able to go out much further because of the radiation. It's a possibility. Okay, please have something that I need. Show me, show me some beef pellets. <laughs> Come on. What is this over here? These look like tail sections. Oh. There are declared cargo holds inside for transporting synthetic beef, milk, and oh. plant food. There might be something useful here. Yes, synthetic beef. A farm for synthesizing beef. However, the declaration mentions only the transportation of goods. There is no data about any research conducted on the liner unnamed, but it seems that apart from transporting food, they also did some biological experiments in these sections. Oh. What a strange place. But maybe we can oh. find something useful here. Synthetic. Oh, is that? Looks like an untamed. This type of fuel can't be synthesized without a living synthetic cow. Not even with electrical tape. Oh, I'm so happy. We found it. Well, we can make synthetic beef. Or the, we can make beef pellets. I'm not sure. Oh, it's so good. And I saw some turrets over here. We should turn these off. It's strange that this section is protective of weapons, seeing that the dairy products don't cost much. <laughs> Well, what kind of secrets were they holding in here? Was it something very odd, like the mayo? Okay, where's the off button? Oh, I think it's right here. Where is it? Oh! I saw it. Turn it off. Okay, we turned it off. Oh, okay, those are riskier. I don't think we're gonna turn the other one off. Where is the other one? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it until we can get some more health. But I do want to see what's going on over here. Limited on oxygen. Oh, whoa. Oh! Biologists tried to make synthetic cows adaptable to independent growth and grazing, and therefore jelly-like specimens without any bone structure did not do well. Oh, that's nasty. Bioglue is the basis of a synthetic organism. The composition is too complex for homebrew reproduction. That is nasty. Oh, what's that? Can of beef. Be careful with artificial beef. This product explodes more often than it's eaten by normal people. Oh, we're just finding so many things. Oh, jeez. There's a giant cow! Okay, I need oxygen. I can't risk it. I'm hoping there will be a candle in one of these. Please, candle. Magnet. Uh, I don't need a magnet. Let's go get oxygen. I want to explore this area a little more before I end this episode. Oh, I'm so glad that we went over here. I wasn't sure because when I see, like, instead of a question mark, an actual symbol, kind of like that bomb, I thought that was just an area that we've been to before. Oh, that's so good, though. I was really stumped on the, the beef pellet, so... I, that's just great. Ooh, and we should be able to see what we need to make beef pellets. Probably just need steak. But where do we get a ready source of steak? Um, beef grenade, that's cool. Beef pellet, synthetic manure times two. Is there just a ready source of synthetic manure? Well, let's make some beef pellets. Okay, well, we'll... We don't have anything to make, we don't have the titanium or resin to make uh, more oxygen, so we're going to sneak over there, see what is left. I mean, we'll probably come back to get more materials, but there is this question mark, and 
I don't know what's... Is it the bio module? I definitely want to get that other turret turned off, but the switches are right by it. I'm weak enough that it could kill me. It could definitely kill me. Do I have to repair you? Oh, I have to scan. Uh, scanner. Hold on. Analyzer blueprint. Oh, wait. We have an analyzer. Is that it? Is that all that we needed here? Because we've got... We can't analyze this. But maybe there's some other stuff around here that we can analyze. Okay, this... modern space greenhouse. It's used on planets unsuitable for agriculture. Oh. It's useless for the liner. It takes up a lot of space unless it's used for scientific purposes. Please tell me you have oxygen. And no more turrets. Oh. Oh, I gotta check this that out. This is the first time I've seen a spacesuit designed for a cow. Usually they don't keep animals in open space, even synthetic ones, although your chicken triggers some questions. Real quick, oh, I gotta sneak back over here. We're playing a dangerous game here. Oh. Oh, please. I'm gonna die. Damn it! Oh! You lie again. Damn it! You are here. That Maybe there's an auto save. Impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. Please tell me I didn't lose a lot of progress there. <laughs> I know where to go, but oh! Please tell me that we're okay. Okay, we made that. So I think it's just travel time. Do we still have? oxygen on us we've got some candles on us okay I'm not gonna end it just yet I'm gonna get some uh, materials for candles and then we're gonna go back over and get the stuff for the beef pellets and all that so it's gonna be a little bit but for you we'll be right back over there so I'm thinking about now, it, it's this and that other shuttle, that are the last two maybe? Maybe we only need a couple more things and this this is it? Well, I'm trying to rush through everything that I already did, <laughs> but we're back, uh, I made some candles, and you know what, just in case, I'm gonna save here, there we go, in case we die again. <laughs> uh, because I do, I do want to turn off these turrets. I have a feeling that I have to. Oh my god! I have a feeling that's. I have to. That it's I have to enter up top. protective of weapons. See that the dairy products don't cost much. Okay. Okay. Right there. Just turn it off really quick. Okay, that's off. We're good, we're good. We can turn off this other one. Oh, that was risky. But we turned them off. I think we needed to do that. We can always rest up. The doors are locked. These locks can only be opened with a special tool from outside. Or, alternatively, they can be broken. You are good at doing that. I am good at doing that. God, I'm also good at hurting myself. Uh, plant explosives. Oh! That's where the beef grenades come into play. Holy modern space cow. Be careful with artificial beef. This product explodes more often than it's eaten by normal people. The plants are dead. Look at all this. We're not going to take care of everything in this episode. We know what we need to do. But one thing I do want to try is um, oh, bust in there or go... I think bust into here because we can make beef grenades. 
I don't know if that's all we need. We might need to make the biologists tried to make oh. synthetic cows adaptable to independent growth and grazing. Oh, and yeah. therefore jelly like specimens without any bone structure did not do well. I did want to check Bio this is the cow. basis of a synthetic organism. The composition is too complex for homebrew reproduction. This is the first time I've seen a spacesuit huh. designed for a cow. Usually they don't keep animals in open space, even synthetic ones. Although your chicken triggers some questions. Oh, cow. Shepherd. <laughs> oh, shepherd. Oh. <laughs> they would. Okay, I think we have enough to make beef grenades. We can also make beef pellets. But we're only going to deal with one thing. I, I think we'll, if we can break in there where there's oxygen, we'll stop there and explore it next time. Beef grenade is battery and inductor. Oh, oh, wait, no, that was looking at EMP grenade. Beef grenade, battery and metal. That's a little bit easier. Battery, I don't, yeah, we, we might have to make that then next time. So maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll fuel the the shuttle this time. We'll make as many beef pellets as we can, put it in there, and see if we can get that going. And then we can go get batteries and all that, and come back and get the into the bio module area. All right, let's fuel this up. Please tell me we have enough. Okay, load it. Oh, we need... We need 10. Well, now we know. 10 pellets, jeez. Synthetic cows don't quite need any eyes. Well, oh. they themselves aren't needed much. However, their creation led to a breakthrough in the field of prosthetics, which recouped the expenses for this stupid idea. <laughs> Does that mean there's something around here that I can make use of? No. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to find my bike, see how much I can craft out of this, and then I'll go from there. Hopefully, I have enough. Yes, we have enough. Oh, thank God. Okay. Let's go launch this thing. Okay, fill it up. It's loaded. We're launching it. Okay. That was it. What? Uh. I think you're almost there. Uh, you can probably ignore the cooling gel's slight course deviation and assume that the core's activity is partially reduced. Uh, okay. I guess we'll assume. Yeah. Yeah, we'll assume. <laughs> oh god, I I should have. Why did I expect that to work? Oh, uh, it did work. But you know what I mean. Whoa! We managed to get that. I'm glad. Took a little longer than I thought it would. But we got it. Which means our final goal is to get into there. And we need... Beef grenades? Maybe just beef grenades? I hope. But we know what we need to make that, and we'll do that next time. I think uh, I'll just make my way back to the base. I'll work on getting stuff organized. Then we can make beef grenades to go back and hopefully that'll be enough to get into the bio module. And then we can, we'll probably lower the radiation again, somewhere or another. I don't know how, but we'll get there. So I wanna thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to hit that like button down below, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time when we break into that bio module. I'll see you then. Bye now.